So um, a lot of people wonder what the difference is between a what matters to you conversation and, uh, the, and what we're doing now. And I think that the main difference is that when we have a conversation about the things that matter, actually we're talking less and listening more. And uh, that's the main thing, first of all, that we're listening rather than talking. Uh, the focus is on the things that are first and foremost important to the person and not necessarily the things that we think are important. Another thing that people think is that it's a, about just saying what matters to you, asking the question in that direct form, and that's not necessarily the case either. The, we have to be thoughtful about it and tailor the question to the individual and to the example. So it might be in the form of when you have a good day, what makes a good day good. Um, it might just be simply tell me about some of the things that are really important to you right now. It could be as simple as that. It's not just a case of saying what matters to you and in fact sometimes that question can be misunderstood when it's asked in that way. But we know that this type of conversation is really important and it makes a difference and that's why we're having this special day to try and promote uh, the conversation and to encourage people to have the conversation. It makes a real difference to people's ability to live a meaningful and fulfilling life and, and also establishes good relationships between people who are supporting and people who are being supported and we know that's really important to delivering high quality uh, compassionate care. But the problem is despite the fact we know it's all very helpful that it's a really important thing to do we know that it's still not happening everywhere all of the time and um, I think there's maybe a couple of reasons for this the first one might be that we're so busy, we just don't think we have time to do it. And maybe a bit deeper than that, I think it might be that people are sometimes afraid to ask that question because they think that we might be asked for something that we can't do. And I think that goes deep into the psyche of the healthcare professional or the, the, the social worker perhaps who thinks they have to, to fix or, or, or be in control of everything and have all the answers to everything and that's not necessarily the case actually first and foremost as I said this is about listening and that listening in itself is a therapeutic intervention so it's really important to do that listening um, and it's not about fixing all the problems that people um, come up with and that discomfort around asking the question is a good thing it means that we're doing something different we're trying something that's new so it should feel a bit uncomfortable it should feel a little bit risky so at a very fundamental level, this is about understanding the person in the context of their life and the things that are really important to them, especially their strengths and the qualities that they bring. And often we overlook those things, yet everybody, no matter what circumstances they're in, no matter what challenges they face, they have their own inherent strengths and qualities. And so the what matters to you conversation is about understanding not only the things that are important to the person, but also the things that the person brings to that conversation. So we often think this is about us, and in fact, it's not about us. It's mostly not about us, it's about the other person and what they bring, and then where we can come along and provide support and care tailored to meet their needs. And that tailoring of care and support around the things that really matter to the person and the strengths and the qualities that they bring is really what this is all about. We know that when we get this right, that it's really powerful, um, it's transformative, it really fundamentally changes things for the better. So what we want you to do on What Matters To You Day is just go out there um, and try it. Um, if you want to have a look at some of the stories that are there about other people who've tried this and what worked and what didn't well, go to the website and there's some great links there to, to other people's experiences and examples. So go out there, have the What Matters To You conversation and then come back and tell us how you got on.